So welcome back aliens, my name is Navin Reddy and once we know the introduction of Kotlin, let's go with the first code. Now of course, right, when you want, when you will start with a new language, maybe C, C++, Java, C Sharp, the first code we always write is hello world and we are all set to write our first code which is hello world in Kotlin. But question is way to write it. So you can, you can download the compiler here, you can see we have an option of compiler, you can use any of these IDE or Kotlin provide you one more feature which is you can you can practice Kotlin codes online. Again, it will be good for beginners but then once you go in a complex things, it, should, it is always better to use some IDEs, right? But since this is our first code, we'll try this. So you can simply click on this try online. Again, you will, where you will find this, you just go to kotlinlang.org. This is an official website of Kotlin. And if you just scroll down, you will find an option of try Kotlin. So if you click on that, try online, uh, it will give you a nice looking interface where you can, you can actually see your first code. And the awesome thing is, it will already give you a code which is hello world. Now if you remember in Java, if you want to write the same code, just, uh, I mean, you can imagine, right? We have, a, we have to create a class first, then we have to mention public static void main, we have to mention the arguments there and we have to write system.out.println, right? Now Kotlin makes things much easier for you. You don't have to create a class here, that will be done automatically behind the scene. You just have to create a main method. Now, uh, in Java, we used to say methods, right? In fact, the, the problem is in, in C programming, we used to call it functions. In C++ also, we used to call it functions. In Java, we call it as a methods. But then again, when it comes to Kotlin, it depends upon you what you want to call it. If you just want to learn Kotlin, not from a Java perspective, you can say those are functions. Example, main here is a function. But maybe if you want to focus on Maybe if you if you do if you want to relate it to Java, you can say it's a method here. So if you want to create a method, you can use f u n as a keyword. Again, it stands for function because normally everything is function, but then in Java we, we call it as methods, right? So you can simply say function, then or func, then you have to mention main method name, which is main here. Now, if you remember in 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 SQL, normally we create we I don't know if you know about SQL here, but then norm, in SQL we create the column name first and then we mention the type of the, the, the data the data type we are working with. In programming language like C, C++ or Java, what we do is we first mention the data type and then we mention the variable name. But again, in, in modern languages including Swift, Scala, what we do is we first define the variable type and then, I mean, we first define the variable name and then we define the type. So we are passing in arguments by defining that it's an array. Now this array will be of type string. This is a type of generics here. Again, if you know generics in Java, this is generics. But other than that, if you don't know, that's fine. This is an argument. So you are taking multiple parameters in the format of an array. All this value will be coming in a string format. And you simply say print ln. There is no system. There is no out. There is no. There is. There is only print ln. Now uh, I do remember whenever I teach this topic for the first time to Java programmers, I have to explain them. Hey, out is an object which is created inside the system class, but it's not an object of system class. You know, it takes lots of time. Instead of doing all those things, uh, Kotlin says, Hey, go with. Go ahead with print ln and just mention hello world, and your job is done. Now, if you want to run this code, as you can see, if you, if you want to run this code, you are running this on JVM. So if I run this code now, uh, you'll be getting the output and of course the output you're expecting is hello world and as you can see here, we got the output as hello world. Now there's your first code, right? And we did that in the online compiler of Kotlin. But let's say I don't want to go for online compiler. I want to work on any of this IDE. So you can use IntelliJ, you can use Android Studio, you can use Eclipse. Uh, what, I will, what you can do is, uh, one of the best IDE available in the market for 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 Kotlin or for Java itself, we have IntelliJ, which is the one of the best IDE available. In fact, both are from the same company. We'll be doing with Android Studio again. Uh, you, you must have seen the Android Studio website where it is updated. Now they have Android 3.0. Now for this course, uh, let's start with Eclipse first and then we'll move towards IntelliJ. So what I will do is I will install Eclipse. Now, fortunately, I already have Eclipse in my system. So let me just open that. So I will say Eclipse. And what, so I'm using Eclipse Neon 3. Uh, you can use any Eclipse version. Maybe uh, after Mars 2. Point, Mars 2, it is there. Uh, okay. So to be on safe side, go for Neon. If you don't have Neon, just install Neon because I'm not sure from which version it is getting uh, Kotlin is getting supported for Eclipse. So make sure you download the latest version. Now the the workspace I will be using is Kotlin. Okay. So in fact, I already created this workspace before. Oh, what is that? Is it closed? No. So I will open this, and you can see. 
Uh, it will open my Eclipse, it will take some time. So parallel, you can also download Eclipse, you can download IntelliJ. From where you will get IntelliJ, you just go to the official website of IntelliJ. And okay, you will not get, get, get this option for the first time. Since I've already done the installation in here, I'm getting this option. You, don't worry, you will not get this option here. Okay, so uh, what, I, what I'm saying is, yeah, so it is taking some time. Let me just pause the video for time being till. Now, if you want to use Kotlin in, in your Eclipse, by default, Eclipse will not provide you Kotlin support, okay? Because Eclipse is made for Java, right? So Java will be inbuilt because your JDK and Eclipse get linked automatically. But when it comes to uh, Kotlin, you have to install the plugin for Kotlin. In fact, I have done this just before the video, so it is already there. But then how will you find it? Do you, do you have that uh, Kotlin in your system or not? So what you have to do is you have to go to perspective. So you have to, you can verify that. So just go to open perspective and there should be Kotlin here. As you can see, we don't have Kotlin here, right? So you can see we don't have that. Uh, in fact, I, I I do have here on the, on the on the on the side because I have used Kotlin before in my system. For you, it will not be there, right? So what you have to do is, you have to go to help and you have to go to Eclipse Marketplace where you can install the plugin for Kotlin. And how to do that? Just search for Kotlin. So it will take some time. Okay, come. On. Okay, so you have to search for Kotlin. When you search for Kotlin in your system. You can see it will give you option of install. Okay, in, in my system I already have it, so it was it is saying installed. But for you, it will give you option of install. Again, it is given by JetBrains, the company who is who made Kotlin. So you have to install that. Installation process is actually very easy. Just have to click on install, then it will ask you for the uh, terms and conditions. You have to say I agree. You don't have a choice, and then everything will be done. Now, once you got Kotlin, it will it will ask you for to restart your Eclipse. Just do that. And once you restart your Eclipse, you will get, so if when you open the perspective, you will get Kotlin here. Now, I'm not getting Kotlin there because I already have that here. So if I click on this perspective, you just have to select the Kotlin perspective and it will give you a perspective for Kotlin. Now, how do we get a project here? It's very easy. Just right click and say new. Now, which project I want to create here? Of course, not a Java project, right? Because we are not learning Java here, we are learning Kotlin. So click on project and you have to select a Kotlin project. So for that, you have to search for Kotlin. Now the problem is uh, it was installed, it, it was not installed properly. So what I will do is I will restart my Eclipse. Just give me a sec. Okay, so I have restarted my Eclipse here. And as you can see, if I right click here, if I say new, and now there's an option of create, uh, creating a Kotlin project. So you, you have to make sure that when you download uh, download Kotlin plugin, it is installed properly because I, I guess I was having some issues there. So when I click on con, uh, Kotlin project and it will ask you for the project name, you can give any project name here. I will say this is my first project. So I will say demo. Uh, okay, I will, say just, I will simply say demo here. Click on finish. It will create a project for you. And if you expand that, now there's one thing you have to observe. You got a Kotlin runtime library because that makes sense. You are creating a Kotlin project, but then you can also see we already have a JRE system library here because when you con when you compile your Kotlin code, it will get converted into Java code, right? So this is your Kotlin project and let's write our first code here. Right click this, say new, and we have to create a Kotlin file. So whenever you want to write a Kotlin code, of course you have to write Kotlin file, right? So let's click on this it will ask you for the package name again we'll, we'll talk about these packages later let's create a let's create a file name okay we will say this is a uh, greet okay so we can say greet and now you can guess the extension right so when you talk about java we have the extension dot java when it comes to kotlin the extension is not kotlin because it's a big word they, they, have, they went for kt so dot kt so we got greet.kt. Now, how do we write a code here? It's very simple. The code we have already seen there. So to define a function, we write function, then we say main, and we'll simply say, I want to accept the arguments, which is of type array. Again, you can use any variable name here. So I will say array, and then this array will be of type string. So I will say string, and then here I will say, I want to print something. I want to print hello world. So I will say print ln. Or why hello world every time? We'll say hello aliens. Okay, so we'll say hello aliens. Uh, you are aliens. I know, I, I hope you, I, I guess you cannot see the font size here. Let me just increase the font size a bit. Okay, so as you can see, we're writing a function here. And if I run this code, and that's our first output. Can you see that we got the output as 
Kotlin, I mean, hello alien. So that's your first Kotlin project. I'm increasing font size here. So you can see the output we are getting here is hello aliens. And that's what we wanted, right? So we got the output. This is your first Kotlin code in Eclipse, right? Right. So in the next video, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be saying how to run this code in IntelliJ because that is the, uh, that is the ID we'll be using for the entire course, right? So we'll see that how to use that in, in IntelliJ. Because IntelliJ provides you lots of features and again, those, what those features are, we'll see in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and do subscribe.